ओके हाय दिस इज प्रीति टुडे आई एम गिविंग समथिंग रिगार्डिंग एन ई पी एसोसिएटेड विथ एल एस आर डबल यू स्किल्स कॉन्सेप्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट विजुअलाइजेशन प्रोग्राम टू द स्टूडेंट्स सो कमिंग टू दिस एन ई पी प्रोग्राम नाउ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट विद दिस स्मॉल स्टोरी वेर यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वाई गवर्नमेंट हैज ब्रॉड दिस एन ई पी प्रोग्राम टू अस द स्टोरी नैरेशन इज लाइक दिस सो इन ए फॉरेस्ट देयर लिव्ड फोर एनिमल्स रैबिट मंकी bird and fish so as instead of wasting time they decided to have some curriculum so that they can write some uh, semester exams so basing on this they have divided their curriculum into uh, fishing uh, sorry swimming burrowing flying and jumping right after the curriculum is designed they started to go ahead with the program of semester exam so that uh, they decided to learn it when they decided to learn one dog has come to them and it started to ask whether it can join in its uh, curriculum or not they said that it is not possible for you because you will be barking all the time right uh, so the dog left the place and uh, meanwhile an eel has come over there i hope you might be knowing what is this eel eel is an electric fish and uh, when it has come they said that okay you can join the reason behind this is the eel is mentally retarded so yeah the 6 months time is completed and uh, they went for uh, the exams right after completion of exams uh, the uh, the results has come and uh, they waited for the results and the results have come and the results shown like this the bird secured a1 in flying and rest of all zeros and even all the others in their particular criteria areas they have got a1 and the rest of all zeros but eel being mentally retarded it has done everything half and it went on with c grade so now my question is why are the students like at present the students are like eels or like birds or uh, rabbits or fish or monkey so in this case uh, the present day situation no one is like particular with their foundational sectors of course because students are not provided particularly with what they need and how they need the reason behind this is they are rushing towards marks so to avoid this mark system to give one particular presentation to the students government has brought this program of nep and this nep included with 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 program where 5 plus 3 plus 3 includes 5 plus 3 is the most crucial area where fifth first five includes with nursery lkg ukg first and second so this is called as foundational period where they learn their mother tongue mathematical skills along with english basic skills the second three includes with third fourth and fifth where they just come out from the foundational stage to implementational methodology stage what they have learnt in this 5 uh, years of stage they'll start implementing in this third to fifth class stage and next uh, uh, next three years includes sixth seventh and eighth which we call it as middle age and this one implementation goes to application methodology means the students try to apply the knowledge what they have learnt in this 8 years of stage later the last 4 years is the secondary stage where the application stage will come to the innovative methodology stage where they learn everything and they'll top in their criteria levels so considering this the government has included nep program to this and the most important thing is that to make the man power powerful with their subject what they are learning government has con uh, concluded to go ahead with nep this is what regarding nep there is a false notation that there are only four kinds of skills which are uh, listening speaking reading and writing but other than this above all the first listening starts with visualization unless a student visualizes what he is going to listen a student cannot uh, listen the topic what he wants to listen so make a child to visualize the topic what they are listening to you means if you want to teach some sense organs we ask them to visualize about the organs what they are 
and how they are, how they function, make, the, make it as a small activity, call some students to you so that they can visualize the topic and they can feel free to listen, listen it. One, so, Okay. So visualization is so important because unless a student visualizes, he cannot listen to the topic what you can say because um, the, there is a thing that it is scientifically proved out of our total life we have 51 percentage for listening skills reason behind this is right from our childhood what we listen we speak out unless we listen we cannot speak out generally that is the only reason why if we listen we can talk and if we can talk we can able to listen so let the student visualize so that you can tell something and he or she can understand that about what you are uh, telling means they can listen to you very appropriately and next after visualization and listening comes the concept understanding while the student is listening you make yourself comfortable that you can imbibe the topic so confidently into their brains that they can understand the concept very easily without reading the total textbook for this i can give you a better example regarding our uh, um, president uh, uh, sri sarvepalli radha krishnan uh, he used to take the class for one hour uh, in that one hour for 50 minutes uh, uh, his class will be with motivation things and last 10 minutes he'll give with the topic what he wants to tell so uh, students used to feel that this 10 minutes is just the vague information what he has given with that 50 minutes of time means the 50 minutes of motivation includes the class where he wants to tell in the sense he is giving the visualization concept understanding along with listening now a student can speak out on this very easily so unless they visualize unless they listen unless they understand a student cannot speak out now coming to the point out of uh, the total life as you have 51 with listening skills 29 percent goes with uh, uh, speaking skills so what a child listen to you he'll speak out what a child uh, whatever you say whether it is false or good or bad whatever it is he listen and he'll speak out so unless they they listen they cannot speak out so first to speak out they have to understand and they have to listen and they have to speak next after speaking it comes to reading skills so if they want to list, uh, read the most important thing is while you are reading the topic while you are reading the topic read it very comfortably with good pronunciation skills so that what you have read will be same given uh, given out by the students so a student can read only if you give them exact pronunciation skills and now come to the percentage levels and this takes the the 12 percent of uh, the total lsrw skills so you have come with 51 listening uh, 29 uh, uh, speaking 12 is with uh, reading the last eight percent is with writing skills so writing skill is a very nominal skill based on that only listening speaking reading comes writing will come now the scenario is totally reversed we make writing for 50 uh, 90 percent rest of 10 percent is going ahead with reading speaking and listening skills a student is getting failed due to big, uh, due to the biggest reason is that even though he or she is having a good conceptual brain the only reason is that we are not concentrating on listening and speaking skills or visualization and concept understanding uh, either the management of schools or uh, the parents or they are focusing only on writing the most failure thing is this so right after understanding regarding lsrw skills visualization and concept understanding let us understand something about the subjects the six major subjects which we have to take into criteria into two different categories 
So the two different categories are uh, the one is creative skill subjects and the next one is knowledge oriented subjects. So these six basic subjects are poured into these two uh, skill oriented subjects. Now let us understand regarding creative skill subjects. These comes under the languages, whatever it might be, either the language what you learnt, Telugu, Hindi, English or any regional language and Hindi and uh, English, whatever it might be. The language subjects will come under, uh, no, uh, sorry, creative subjects because once when you create something to read and write, then you can understand the topic very easily. Means they are skill oriented subjects and it is our duty to present them very particularly because unless we know these language subjects we cannot read the topics and we cannot expose the topics and we cannot reciprocate the topics. So it is most important for every student to understand and to come out with the creative subjects and most important thing is that for creative subjects textbook is the most important factor. We have to teach the textbook not like a novel. It should be taught in such a way that uh, every point is considered from the line to line of that. Uh, in, in between the lines we have to take out and we have to give that. Other than that if we give anything it is not that easy. And along with this for language subjects grammar should be taught hand in hand with the subject of the lesson. It should not be taught separately because a student can learn grammar without having any fear in the heart only through language games along with the lesson. So this is about creative subject. So we have to give that skill instead of taking S from the skill, provide S to the skill and give some talent to the students only then they can write something and they can read something. So this is about group subjects. Unless group subjects, sorry, unless language subjects are given properly, group subjects are not taken into consideration because knowledge subjects are group subjects. So maths, science and social sciences comes under knowledge oriented subjects. So knowledge oriented subjects are just reference subjects. So what they learnt in that along with textbook, the knowledge subjects are learnt without textbook. So textbook becomes just a reference factor to them and they have to take out to the out for outsourced focused areas so that they can be taught only through activity methodology. So here gaming methodology is for creative subjects, activity methodology is for knowledge subjects. So if these two go in hand in hand, a student can become number one resource with the knowledge of subjects. This is what the thing what we have to understand.